Kirk Cousins says, what am I playing for Bill Belichick? All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lopagas Show. I'm One Bar with Lopagas. Kirk Cousins in an interview talking up. Bill Belichick would love the chance to play for him. Speaking of talking up, I can not talk up enough the Underdog Fantasy app. If you have not yet downloaded it, make sure you do. Promo code SKULL. Match up to your first $100. And also you get a new customer offer, which is basically a freebie. You got the playoffs coming up this weekend, divisional round. Hell yes. Make some bets higher or lower with Underdog Fantasy. Do it. Do it now. Uh, Kirk Cousins making some noise out there and doing an interview, talking about a lot of things, and one of them about the chance, the opportunity, potentially having Bill Belichick as his head coach. Yeah, he said he'd love it. He'd love to play for Bill Belichick. He also said, who wouldn't? Hall of Fame coach. Uh, but there's a couple reasons why this is extra interesting to me. Uh, number one, uh, Atlanta. Bill Belichick's going to have a second interview with the Atlanta Falcons and also Kirk Cousins' wife, is from Atlanta. So that's always been a team that's been brought up. And now there's a little added uh, fuel to that fire. Yeah. I mean, fuel. I think they're dumping. Uh, yep. Fuel. That's a good, that's a good comparison. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. This is, this is crazy. I mean, we all know, we, nobody knows her cousins, what he's going to do. We don't know what the Vikings want to do, but this is the perfect case scenario for him. Go to Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta, even before this, has been a team that's rumored that that wants Kirk Cousins or a quarterback away. Kirk Cousins would take Atlanta that next level. They got a bunch of cap space in this offseason to spend on a Kirk Cousins match made in heaven. But also, Kirk Cousins is a smart guy. He knows what to say, the right ways to yes. say it. Like It's not like, oh, yeah, I hope I play for him. It's like, who wouldn't? Puts in those little things where if the Vikings actually want him back, they're like, oh, shit. But we got to get something done. But what he didn't say was this. He didn't say, well, you know, my focus is coming back to the Vikings this year. But, yeah, I would love to play. He didn't say – he didn't start that way either. So maybe you could read into that. Maybe not. I don't know. But the fact he didn't say that at all either was, like, you know, a little bit telling too. Yeah, it was uh, not – it was a little bit not Kirk Cousins-like as well, like you said. Like, he didn't go out there and say, hey, look, I'm a Viking, you know, whatever. He didn't do it. But mm-hmm. – this could be his last big payday, even though he says he's going to give a, a little discount, whatever that may be. He's smart. And uh, if I'm him, I mean, look at it from his angle. Falcons next year probably have a better chance, especially if he's mm-hmm. their head coach. He wants that ring. Yeah. And, and I mean, do you feel it? Do you feel it in the air? It feels like the separation is starting between these two. Uh, you got PA talking about how it makes no sense from what the Vikings are talking about. Uh, with their with their change with with the way they're looking at the moving this organization with the young quarterback to bring back Kirk Cousins and now this coming out it just feels like to me uh, the separation is starting. Mm, I can smell it. Our starting quarterback's gonna be Ryan Tannehill and our backup's gonna be Spencer Rattler and we're gonna oh. be in quarterback hell. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I can absolutely feel it. And you said it. A big thing was PA uh, yesterday, love or hate PA, he was he was saying you know, that he, like he's not one to say something like that unless he knows something, and he usually is in the know. So yeah. get ready, get prepared. If, I mean, a lot of people will be happy, but Kirko might not be back. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Let us know in the comments. Uh, what do you think about Kirk Cousins said about Bill Belichick? You think he's going to en- end up in Atlanta? Uh, let us know. And also remember this: the uh, world record for the longest P is five hundred and eight seconds, which is almost eight and a half minutes. That was me last night.